Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel. An unbelievable milestone. More than one quarter of a million people have now come to Israel under birthright. And I tell you, I take pride. I take pride in that, having been the first Israeli Prime Minister to help fund birthright. Now, I don't know if you understand how odd that is. See, over many years of the life of the Jewish state, Israel was receiving funds from the Jewish people. And here came the idea that Israel would be giving funds to the Jewish people to get young Jews to come to Israel. So I'm very proud to have been the first one of our prime ministers, there were others as well, to adopt this idea. And I'm very proud to announce that this year, my government will give more than double its investment in birthright, and over the next three years, over the next three years, we'll invest close to $100 million in birthright. This investment of the government can increase the number of birthrights participants each year to 50,000. Now that's, that's a very impressive number. 50,000 youngsters like you, 50,000 from around the world, around the Jewish world, coming to Israel, that's a powerful link in our chain. But I don't want to stop it. I want to set it along with my colleagues here. I want to set a more ambitious goal. And I know that Michael and Lynn and others share it. And our goal should be that every young Jew who wants to come to Israel will be able to come to Israel. This is our goal. They say we don't belong here. We say, we belong here. We've always been here, we'll always be here. So when you come to Israel, you can see the truth with your own eyes. You can go to the uh, hotel, touch those stones. You know, they were put here 2,000 years ago, but they stand on the place that was built, that temple that was built 1,000 years earlier. And we still have a thousand years before that in which we were here. So you can be armed with the truth, the truth about our past, the truth about our present. And when you're armed with that truth, you can expose the hypocrisy of those who seek to undermine Israel's legitimacy. Now you can be standing on the front lines. You'll be standing on the front lines for the battle of truth for Israel's legitimacy. And when you expose this hypocrisy, when you puncture the lies, you're performing a tremendously important service for the Jewish state and the Jewish people.